Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and good day everyone. Okay, this is ASM404 on the uh, communication for professionals. Okay, last week we have done chapter one, so uh, I plan to continue on the next chapter for this one, so we can at least uh, complete half of the chapter before we go in for the uh, semester break okay okay uh, ready your pen and paper uh, this is chap topic 2 actually in the uh, our syllabus but it's on chapter 3 I think on the textbook okay before that I confirm this first okay topic 3 is uh, chapter 4 okay okay this is topic 2 eh, the last one we use a topic, uh, topic is not a chapter. Okay. Topic 2 is a language and meaning. Okay, uh, at the end of this chapter, uh, you should be able to define the language and understand how it works, understand the characteristic of the language, and the last one, use a language effectively. So language is, as you know, it's uh, English right now, the medium that we use, medium, yeah. The English language, okay. What is language? A collection of symbols, uh, letters or words, I think more on the words, with arbitrary meaning that are governed by rules and used to communicate. Because like English, they have the Grammarly, uh, like the Mbasa, they have Tata Basa. I'm not sure on Ibans and Midayo. Mm, even in Arab, they have the uh, sounds, Chinese, they have these up and down sounds, okay? When we listen to others' verbal communication, we decode or assign meaning to their words in order to translate them into uh, talk of our own. That's fun. Hola, Italia, Espanol, Bonjour, Spanish, Hello, English. Mine personally, yes, during my time in UITM, third language, I take uh, Nihon, I take what is this? Hang, bukan Hangul. Huayu, uh, Huayu is Mandarin lah, and then after that, I think when I'm working lah, that that uh at that time UITM have this uh, under faculty of academic of language, okay, academic pengajian bahasa dia orang, they have offer a short course lah for uh, different language they offer. At that time they offer Japanese, they offer Korean, they offer France and Arab okay at that time I want to pick co uh, Korean Hangul but masa tu there are not enough students so yang open masa tu Arab dengan uh, Jepun je so I take the Nihon Go class okay masa tu yang ajar is a uh, is a Chinese lah actually it's Chinese uh, sensei okay I, I forgot his name I can't ingat nama dia Mr. Go tak silap it's a very uh, actually it's a lecturer from the APB, but it's a senior senior lecturer, very humble person, very good. Okay, because he have uh, experience actually uh, study in Japan. So at that time, yes, I take the class. Uh, it's two times a week. Um, malam. Okay, masa tu dua kali seminggu at pergi UITM lah on their classes dekat sama ada masa tu kat building building yang kat atas bukit tu saya ingat nama building tu okey so kelas dia 2 jam uh, satu sesi uh, satu sesi which is yes you learn the uh, basics and also the uh, writing skill okey masa tu lagi lah bulan puasa which is very nice ah i uh, have the opportunity to meet other people we have this we have which have the same interest yes masa tu ada dalam I think almost 15, 16 people in the class. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have a uh, basic already on the Nihongo, and other yang memang from nothing beginners like me. Okay, I actually like to watch uh, anime and the uh, reading a manga, so uh, get this a uh, little bit sa uh, on the Nihon ni. Okay, and then after that, the next um, the next year I enroll for the part time for the. Hangul mal, Korean. 
because masa tu I think that that time is during 2000 something lah okay because I just finish my degrees and then I do my work um because I l- have a lot of time masa tu kan so try I mostly interested in learn other language so I join the Korean class the next year which is masa lagi meriah sikit lah ramai makcik makcik pun uh, yang join the class because this is part time class and join ni mostly memang Yes, uh, orang yang dah bekerja lah Meaning that uh, Ada yang housewife ada Ada yang professional from uh, Masa tu ada pilot seorang Dia ambil dia uh, Hanggul Mang Eh Hanggul Mang, betul lah, Korean Belajar sikit on the writing I know how to write in Korean also So I can say my uh, Language in this Both Nihon and this Hanggul is about Beginners are beginners. Still, tak lah. I can uh, talk directly, but I think I can understand a little bit, and maybe I can read about s- a little bit on their uh, writings. Okay, so it's better if you have this opportunity to take uh, or to l- to learn another language. Okay, maybe our neighboring country, Thailand, Thai. Our top one from Philippines, I think, close to us, Tagalog. What else? Indonesian. Indonesian, I think most of you understand good. <laughs> okay, uh, what are the characteristics? <coughs> I'm not sure lah why this light, like, sometimes it's blank. So, I think maybe a video here, maybe a picture is missing. Oh, but that we just proceed this one. Okay, number one, language has a rule. Okay, uh, characteristic, yes. Language has their own rule. Okay, what the rule is semantics, syntax, grammatics. Okay, that that those three. Uh, that those three. Okay, semantic is study of the way human use language to evoke meaning in others. Semantic focus on words and their meaning. Okay, uh, more on the words that's been spoken. Syntax is the way in which words are arranged to form uh, phrases and sentence. How actually the words, uh, connection of the words, uh makes some of the meanings. Pragmatics is the study of language as it's used in a social context including its effect on the communicator. This one have a fatigue communication is a communication that is used to establish a mode of sociability rather than the to communicate information or ideas. Okay just takes uh notes on the what is semantic, what is syntax, what is pragmatic. Uh, maybe lah this question can be appeared in your test later on or final quiz ke Okay, the second uh, characteristic uh, language and culture are inter inter intertwined Okay, this is my this is new word ni sebenarnya I think first time uh, counter that word Okay, if you don't know the words I'm as I as like me also I don't uh, I'm not a better English apa pun I just okay, intertwine is a twist or twine together yes okay when you learn a language actually you learn their culture sebenarnya okay culture the socially transmitted behavior patterns belief attitudes and value of particular periods and class community or population as you know the Chinese uh, writing they have their own uh, style over there okay, and so actually it's reflect to the symbols it reflects to their uh, things uh, in the surrounding culture and language are related as the transmission of the culture occurs okay culture creates a lens through which we perceive the world and create the shared meaning so yes you learn the language you learn the culture when actually the what when the things has uh, started okay who is the uh, one uh, responsible to start the creation of their book okay or their writings okay uh okay kenapa ni keluar ni sorry sorry my ram i think this one and people who speak different language also have a different terms in to identify things around them okay Example shades ranges from cyan to sky to navy to midnight blue are called blue in English, biru in Malay, ao in Japanese. Yeah, almost like the same. What? 
uh, Safir works hypothesis Copy language, popular culture and social media Different language have different color terms Okay, I'm not understand this one So if you uh, have ideas on this one Safir Wolf hypothesis ni You can share with me So actually we learn together eh, on this um, code ni Because as I said, this is my first time Be teaching uh, this new code or SM404 Yes, this one is different from the one that uh, I'm teaching last time. Okay, uh, language on the third one, on the characteristic language, uh, organizes and classifies reality. Okay, language is used to classify what we see and experience. Okay, example on four leg uh, piece of furniture with set with seats and backs are called chair. Okay, maybe some of uh, other culture. See, this is not a chair, this is table, mana lah tahu kan So, but we know that this is chair Language is used to classify by height, hair color and adornment Adornment, what's this? Okay, sorry, I like to google lah sorry Okay, try to adornment Adornment is a thing which adorn or decorate, ornament, okay like uh, accessories ke ni Action of adorning something Precious stone have been used Okay, something uh, Things are that related to the things uh, Yang attached to that uh, Successful uh, item Okay You identify Is symbolically created to language Example, my name is Abu bin Ali I'm 24 years old I live in Kedah hmm, Apa ni? Maksudnya Okay, uh, mostly memang I Kalau dalam class communication ni Sometimes I'm yang blur Okay, sorry, sorry Okay, tadi ada uh, Language have a culture Language uh, has a role Language uh, organize and classify reality Okay Depends on the culture Also And language is arbitrary Meaning that denotative meaning They agree upon uh, meaning or dictionary meaning of a word Automobile refer to the vehicle that runs on gasoline. Okay, like this one lah. We call kereta. Okay, kereta. Kereta. I think this route they call motor kan. Okay. And then the motorcycle. If we go, we said motor in Semenanjung. It's a motorcycle lah sebenarnya. But it's here is motor is kereta kan. Same goes on. We call here kereta in Indonesia. They call mobil. If I'm not, if I'm not mistaken, can so maybe supir ka? supir taxi yeah, so yes have a different meaning lah actually this one. Denotative meaning tadi agreed upon meaning of dictionary meaning of a word same as what they translate in the dictionary on the book, but the another one is a quantitative meaning an individualized or personalized meaning of word which may be emotionally laden. Some example is love. Okay, hold vastly different meaning for people because of their unique experience. Some might say love is hurt, while other might say love is passion. I think love is happy. <laughs> okay, uh, quantitative meaning is something that related to your personal, uh, your own interpretation compared to denotative meaning is what is in in the book. Okay, that's what I can understand here. Okay, we banyak ni characteristic. Okay, language is abstract. Word are uh, abstraction of or simplification of what they stand for and what stand for ideas and things but they are not the same as those ideas and things so the word is not the thing example okay i, I cannot understand this one <laughs> all right <coughs> we just proceed this one so language is to avoid when speaking hmm? meaning that mind your language as well here um Always, always uh, think before you speak, okay? Because every things that uh, come out your come out from your mouth actually, telajak perahu boleh diundur, telajak kata, you cannot mengundurkan kata-kata tu, okay? Maybe boleh tarik balik, but still uh, the other side, the other parties has been touched with your words so okay? Oi, banyaknya slide ni. Okay, but we already, I think, almost half. <coughs> okay, how can language be an enhancement or an obstacle to communications? 
Okay, number one is grammatical errors. Okay, which uh, most of the people like to uh, touch the is issue when they uh, encounter a post in the Twitter, in the Facebook, ke, okay, ada yang uh, grammar teacher, grammar expert when we do some post in our social media, ke social networks, okay. It is all alright in oral communication, but not in written communication. That's why yang some of these people memang triggers the when you write uh, something is wrong. Okay, they can find this as you uh, to accuse you lah sebenarnya. Okay, example, can I go with you? May I go with you? So, which one yang is this one is proper lah? May I go with you? Can I go with you? It's also can can, but. If you write something to maybe elderly people, ke, uh, for for the seniors, for your uh, lecturer teachers, you have to use your mind your word that's here. Me, okay. Example: We are not such. Uh, which restaurant? Not sure which restaurant we are going to. Okay, mostly uh, this one casual lah, kan? And then we are not sure to which restaurant we are going. This is like a statement. Is things that you should work uh, or write in the uh, it's official letters ke, official uh, on in the book ke, okay so how do you want to know this grammatical errors everything eh? uh, how to write uh, the sentences eh? is based on your experience okay uh, you have to uh, read a lot of books kalau boleh yes uh, don't too much uh, watch a videos sebenarnya. If you uh, write something from the articles, journals, uh, maybe from the uh, books, I think, textbook, uh, newspaper, I think newspaper is better. You gonna see this, uh, how this actually, uh, the writers, the editor, uh, arrange their words compared to what uh, people speaking through the videos, okay? Okay, it's different, right? This that is a professional uh, writing sentences or sign uh, arrangement of words. Uh, I only found follow you because I found your grammatical errors to be unbearable, but no hard feelings. Ada ke wala macam ni? Unfollow you because you punya grammar teruk. Maybe ada. Okay, but just ignore lah grammatical errors because language english language is not our first uh, language maybe some of you maybe i don't know so we have to be proud of with our bahasa sebenarnya okay okay slang okay this is the most uh, interesting topics okay slang is uh, informal casual street language used among the equals with words unsuitable for more formal context okay slang name mostly when we are with uh, our groups learning a specialized language of a group of people who share a common interest or belong to a similar core culture meaning that you are the same from the same places learning example fee wit you are so hot in america meaning that you are attractive okay my coworker is crazy my coworker is cray okay cray to crazy <laughs> Melo peng satu yes. Ula I I'm not sure what is peng peng kat sini kan. Apa ni ice and that one. <laughs> Different lah. Now nowadays uh, I think the slangs the the words has been very uh, changes ah. Now the words the the things the slang has been changes ah. Especially now we got last time we got WeChat punya community kan. <laughs> Budak budak WeChat, so they have their own words. So, especially my generation, I'm not too, not too into that. So, I think your generation, I think understand what they are talking about. So, is it uh, is better? Okay, when I come to Sarawak, I actually not understand what they what you all talking about. So, I learn from time after a year, I think I'm staying in Sarawak. I made manage to catch the apa kelaka Sarawak tu. Uh, so yes, you gonna gonna have experience that things then yes, we have to talk lah. Some people tend to not to 
join like memang ada yang as you know lah ada duduk 10 tahun 20 tahun in Malaysia still cannot talk bahasa so that's their punya attitude lah not not the community problem I think okay uh, start from yourself sebenarnya you want to learn or not sebenarnya okay hmm, apa yang nak cerita tadi eh? tadi slang ni oh If you go to UK, uh, maybe if you go to some shops ke They love to call you uh, Hi love Macam tu je dia panggil love Hi honey, what are you doing? Okay, so you don't uh, Take uh, perasan He likes to you or she likes to you That thing, they, because they call you love ke what so Honey ke, so it, that just their culture lah They just want to be apa ni close they want to be like friendly lah to the uh, outsiders ke maybe somebody that not the schedule lah that one is a culture over there boleh kat sini kita panggil sayang orang yang tak kenal eh sayang boleh but ah <laughs> uh, maybe awkward lah that thing okay okay number three on this kita bincang apa ni Okay, how can language be enhancement or obstacle to communication? Grammatical error, slang. Okay, kadang orang tak faham slang, they don't understand the things. Clichés, clichés. Okay, an expression that has lost originality, force through overuse. Clichés ke? Clichés. Angkat cliché deh. Okay, ini memang uh, cliché macam mana nak je? Okay, wait for a minute. Cliche, betul lah. Okay, an expression that has lost originality and forced to overuse. No pain, no gain. For one for all and for one all for one. Okay, cliche may be unclear to individual who unfo who who unfamiliar with the underlying uh, ideas and they are usually ineffective in the expressing idea in a fresh ways. Okay, because maybe they uh first time heard the word. Okay, they don't know the things so. They may not understand, okay. But if you using this cliche to a person that have uh, knows already the things, uh, I think your uh, your things that you want to express is uh, reach to that person, okay. So use this when. Basically, kita buat ni untuk menyindir ke apa ni. Uh, so depends. Look on the situation. Uh, another thing says is uh, euphemisms. Okay, memang okay. We learn together, ni. <laughs> Euphemism. Okay, I almost pronounce it correctly. Euphemism is a more polite, pleasant expression used in a place of a socially unacceptable form. Example: Powder my nose. See a man about a dog. The little girl's room. Okay, um, a mild or indirect word of expression substitute for one considered to be too harsh or blunt when referring to something unpleasant or embarrassing. Okay, ah, uh, this thing you macam menyinde, I think this one. In Malay, okay. So if you are very not understand what the words, yes. Cakap belapis, belapis this one. Okay. Euphemism. Powder my nose ni, I think if you're not mistaken. What is this? <laughs> I also don't know. This one, yes, it's uh, in US, UK culture got this one. Powder my nose mean what? Oh, they want to go to the toilet. Damn. Okay. <laughs> if you don't Google, <laughs> maybe you don't know. All right. I ingat powder my nose ni minta tolong orang make up kan kita ke apa kan So <laughs> Okay, you have to Okay, my goldfish passed away, it died <laughs> Okay, profanity Profanity ke ke A type of swearing that use indecent words and phrases Okay, certainly some people participate in a group which uh, profanity is normative But when they speak to people outside of the group, they use profanity is unwise Same as slang by established group norms or relational closeness in some setting. Profanity ni is uh, things lah. Uh, 
maybe normal to your culture maybe normal is uh, people around your area in your group but when you talk to the outsider they think that is rude maybe they think that is uh, unacceptable contohlah i think simple example if you go to melaka they used to Actually, I used to use, I used to study in Malacca for some times. Okay, sorry, this thing keep uh, appeared. Do I check up? Sana macam kasar sikit tau. Maksud maksudnya, okay. Lahanat, oil, hidup lagi mamak ni apa ke? Kau tak mampu lagi apa? Too standard tu. When, when you uh, see this old friend ke, okay? Uh, maybe for some people, oh yeah, hal aku nak aku doa aku mati ke apa? Kan? No. That's that how they are, apa ni macam bergurau lah I think. Uh, but the language is very uh, straight. Memang <coughs> nice lah, nice. Okay. Okay, I use this profanity language when I'm uh, playing a game mostly. Okay, when you lose to your opponents in the game, memang I akan han, memang akan mencaru dari sini. Okay. <laughs> Alright, a jargon language particularly to specific provision or work groups or culture not mean to be understood by outsider. Okay, example, doctor use the CPR, BP. Oh, okay, cooperator use volatile. Okay, economist uh, use demand supply micro. Okay, words that been uh, attached to the uh, feel of area lah. This one I can say. Okay, if a doctors they have their own terms. Uh, Acronyms, okay. The uh, economist demand supply. Ni, if you using, if you uh, know some of these uh, analysis, uh, the marketing etc. So you know this thing. So jargon you can learn actually, uh, but it takes time. Okay. Also, we got the regionalism. Okay, words or phrases specific to particular region or part of the country. So when people from different part of the country try to talk with each other, clarity can break down. Okay, some example is word Coke in Texas, soda in the New York, and pop in Indiana. Okay, a uh, different um region they call the things on the different uh different words lah. Maksudnya kan selimut gebor. Okay, gebor ni juhu hati begini. Menguap sangat, yes. Almari gobok, gobok pun juhu hati. Jangok berhias. Kan, okay, especially in Sarawak lawa. If you say lawa here, hmm, apa dia call sombong eh? If you say lawa in Semenanjung, is cantik lah. Okay. <laughs> it's different based on the regionalism. You have to experience that thing. No. Uh, take notes on that thing before you using the words. Uh, next one is gender bias, racist, or heterosexist, and ageist language. Okay, gender bias language or gender specific language is a language that privileges a certain gender over another. Okay, chairperson, not the chairman. Okay, police officer, not policeman. Okay, uh, this one as you see lah, policeman ni more to the uh, men lah kan, boys. So, this one is better words lah, chairperson, police officer. So, in general, we don't uh, just bias to the another gender, this one. Okay, and then of course the racist nowadays are very uh, critical issues. Language that insult a group because of its skin color or ethnicity. Okay, never call nigger or negro. Instead, we call them blacks. Okay, even you call blacks for now, they are uh, feel hurt. Okay, you cannot call them blacks nowadays. Nigger lagi lah. So yes, every people is equal. We don't uh, differentiate on the different colors. So please respect and be polite uh, to the others. Okay, ini macam sama je. Okay, is it, is it the same? Okay, this is, is heterosexist language that implies that everyone is sex heterosexual. Example, gay and lesbian to them avoid using a husband, wife, girlfriend or spouse instead use partner or companion or friends. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, let's say you meet a gay couple. So, which one you want to say? <laughs> 
Is it your is it your wife here? <laughs> what? <laughs> so never talk to them like that. So I is I'm against this LGBT. So I'm sorry if you are gay or lesbian. Please to uh, please uh, open your mind. Okay, what why actually you want to be <laughs> part of that group? Okay, H is is language that describe the and denigrates uh, people on the basis of their age. Okay, grandma, grams, okay, kids, girl, boy. Okay, if this thing that you use on the not on the correct situation, you hurt people. Baca lah, you pergi kedai, ada kakak jual uh, something kan? And then you dia nampak muda lagi, but you call dia maci. Of course, he will be insulted kat situ, kan? Dia elok dia nak cacu murah-murah dia bagi you mahal kan? So kena pandai ambil hati sikit sebenarnya Have to uh, you Use your word Nicely Okay so that Everyone is comfortable with you Okay how language skill can be improved Okay this is the most important part Okay use the descriptiveness um, The practice of describing observed behavior of phenomena Instead of offering personal reaction or judgment You have to check your perceptions Okay Look what the faces that you want to talk about, okay, and then uh, to, uh, depends on the situation. Make sure everyone is comfortable. Yes, sometimes you have to be direct, but it depends. Most of the time, when we meet uh, some people new, okay, we need we need that we first time meet uh, this person. It's good to have a good impression uh, on uh, your words or your tone because. Especially I, I'm seeing student, the word that they talk to me, I can know that this person uh, is, yes, dia beradab ke, dia is, macam mana cakap lah, maksudnya beradab ataupun ada, I susah nak sebut ni, okay, <laughs> okay, I think you know already this, this one. Okay, um, use operational definition, definition that identifies something by uh, revealing how it works, how it meets, and what it consists. Maybe, yes, define your term uh, to avoid others uh, misunderstood our terminology. We must define the term used so that it can help uh, them to clarify those terms. Okay, so back is too general. Why not we specific to what is it? Is it a garbage bag, lunch bag, sand bag? Okay, and then tadi more on the descriptive or what the things that you want to uh, talk about, okay? Things about the uh, reaction or the judgment of the other people, the other side. Uh, another one is to use uh, concrete language, a word, a statement that are specific rather than abstract or vague, okay? Dating, specifying when you made an observation since everything changes over time. Okay, uh, this one on the statement. Uh, the third one will be the differentiate uh, between observation and inferences. Observation is what is sense and inferences are the conclusion drawn for the observation. As I said, uh, you have to experience something, um, look at the situation, Use uh, your words uh, wisely so that you give a good uh, judge, uh, give a good impression to other people. Okay, almost done. Okay, improving ESL speakers' language. I think this uh, ESL is English. Sign language. Okay, this is sign language. Ni. Wait, can I put ESL in your Uh, English language learners, my English ESL with acronym. Okay, keep language functional. Be aware of language nonsense. Uh, recognize the language learning is in long term. Develop language process independently. Use your own language to help. Actually, yeah, you have to read the book, uh, watch the videos, uh, learn to pronounce uh, things. It should be better. Okay, uh, that's all for topic three. I'm learning that this topic number two, sorry, uh, chapter number three in this uh, textbook. Okay, uh, I think you can share with me uh, some of the language uh, that you know so that we can learn from each other. 
Okay, that's all for today. Thanks for watching. See you on another video. Stay safe. Bye-bye.